Nearly five years ago in 2017, Prashant Kishore failed in Uttar Pradesh. But was it really a failure? Or was it a deliberate campaign waged by Prashant Kishore to ensure the Congress's defeat? Going by how things are going right now, Prashant Kishore is readying himself to embarrass the Congress in UP once again. Elections are approaching. In Punjab, where the Congress won in 2017 only because of Captain Amrinder Singh, Prashant Kishore shared the credit pie too. Now, Prashant Kishore has ruined the Congress's Punjab unit and soon he will cause Congress's complete disintegration. Hi and welcome. You are watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Isha and in this video I will tell you how Prashant Kishore is driving the Congress party into the ground. Season number cruncher Prashant Kishore has been influencing major decisions within the Indian National Congress of late. It is believed that the man does not command much influence over Sonia Gandhi, the interim Congress president. Her son and daughter, however, seem to be enamored by the man and his politics, since the duo does not have much to account for personally. Rahul Gandhi, without actually holding any position within the Congress party at the moment, is taking all important decisions, and that is infuriating leaders. The hand supporting Rahul Gandhi in his endeavours is that of Prashant Kishore, who is eyeing lateral entry into the party at the general secretary level. The Congress's senior leaders, however, are hardly impressed with the prospect of Kishore getting to join the party at an important post without first proving his worth. Janmashtami celebrations at Congress leader Kapil Sipil's residence on August 30 saw intense deliberations regarding the Congress's current situation and how Kishore's entry would impact it. The G23 leaders of the Congress are said to be strongly opposed to the idea of Kishore's lateral entry, but the group is likely to adopt a wait-and-watch policy. It seems Captain Amrinder Singh's fortunes in Punjab were sabotaged by the Congress High Command with the help of Prashant Kishore. Ever since the number cruncher was appointed as principal advisor in the rank and status of a cabinet minister to captain, media reports had been rife with news of growing discontent amongst the Punjab Congress ranks regarding the decision. The fire soon became uncontrollable for Captain Amrinder Singh, who was forced to clarify to the state unit as a whole that Kishore will have no hand in ticket distribution. However, the damage was done and discontent within the Congress's Punjab unit only grew here on ultimately precipitating the appointment of Navjot Singh Sidhu as the state unit's president and most recently resulting in the removal of Captain Amrinder Singh as chief minister. Prashant Kishore, by the looks of it, ran a sabotage mission against Captain Amrinder Singh in Punjab. Rahul Gandhi seems to have gone rogue. He has begun running the show in Congress along with Prashant Kishore with scant regard for any other leader, including, it seems, his own family members. It must be remembered that the Punjab fiasco beginning with the appointment of Sindhu as the state unit president was being considered a pet project of Priyanka Gandhi. Did Rahul Gandhi sabotage his own sister's mission along with Kishore? Prashant Kishore is said to have convinced Rahul Gandhi that the Congress requires new young leaders and the senior leaders need to be done away with. What else explains the Congress's decision to induct seditious elements like Kanhaiya Kumar and Jignesh Mewani into its ranks? Former Communist Party of India leader and former president of JNU Students' Union, Kanhaiya Kumar had been meeting Rahul Gandhi along with Prashant Kishore regularly in the run-up to his induction into the party on Tuesday. Kanhaiya is accused of raising anti-India slogans at the JNU campus in 2016. He was then the president of the JNU Students' Union. Kanhaiya was among others to be arrested by the Delhi police and charged with sedition. For the Congress to induct such elements into its rank really show how Rahul Gandhi is taking the party of a far left right. Prashant Kishore is resulting in the destruction of the Congress party. If Rahul Gandhi being the giant, ignoramus and political child that he is, thinks people like Kanhaiya Kumar and Jignesh can win elections for the Congress, he is in for a big surprise. Kanhaiya Kumar was defeated by BJP's Girirat Singh during the 2019 polls by a margin of 4 lakh votes from Bihar's Bigusarai. This even as Bigusarai is considered a strong hold of the left. Prashant Kishore seems to be driving the Congress party into the ground and Rahul Gandhi is helping him do so. Ever since Kishore began influencing decision-making within Congress, the party has been disintegrating. How Prashant Kishore embarrassed the Congress in Uttar Pradesh's 2017 assembly elections has hardly been forgotten by anyone and history seems to be repeating itself all over again. 